get over his Devin and his toys, bro. Yeah, every, the stream is talking to us. That's it. Every single time. Every single time. Okay, here we go. Let's jump into this first game. We got Jen playing Palutena. I forgot this character existed in this game. Mm -hmm, in the current meta. A dying race. Jen being the only Palutena left here at Xeno, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. And, uh, you know... With Palutena, the character has gone through a lot of workshops since, like, you know, the beginning of Smash Ultimate back in 2018. Like, there's a character that people used to complain about constantly. Then she got nerfed into Oblivion, and now no one plays her anymore because you got, you got that DLC pass number two coming in. But, you know, at the gate, Jen already taken 98 damage on that first stock, but it is, in fact, the first stock, so there's a lot of room to... Try to decipher what's going to happen later on in the match. Mm -hmm. And you know, Mega's finally back into town. College season means that all the NYU boys are coming. And Mega, the Ike, is back. C. Caleb is also in town. And they're doing such a great job against Jen right now, putting so much damage onto the board. Yeah, dude, college is coming back. You know, it's September. You know what they say, you get back for the summer, get back into that school when you should be studying. You're actually coming here to play some Smash. Good punish from Jen. Going to go for that Nair on that up B. This might be dead. I think Jen, if he plays this right, oh, good recovery from Mega. Gonna cut back out right onto that platform. Mm-hmm, and we saw just how much Mega was pushing into Jen, and Jen just racking up so much damage on Mega before Mega finally taking the stock off of Jen. Oh, looking for those up airs. Definitely was hoping for a teleport cancel on that right platform. So he's just throwing that just in case. It doesn't really cost him anything to go for. I like the exchange. Oh, Jen's got to get rid of this stock before he keeps Ooh. racking up the double side B. Quick draw, McGraw. And you know, Jen is just so good at grabbing. Jen is so good at just catching things with the back air. And still, Palutena going through so much stuff. The back air is still incredibly powerful. Oh, yeah, that shield. Got a little bit of guard point on that too. You got to respect it sometimes. Look okay, at Jen. He was stuck there in the corner for a second, but then Mega just kind of relented a bit, allowing him to uh, get back center stage. Magical percent for Jen. Let's see if he can make something work here. I mean, right now, they're just kind of like throwing out some aerials. Mega's doing a lot of that. I mean, that's what you gotta do with Ike, right? Mm -hmm. Ike's constantly fishing for those nares, those up airs, because he gets so much combo potential off of that. He leaves death, he leaves a mad amount of damage. So you just gotta kind of respect Ike. That's, he's gonna be airborne a lot, and Jen's gonna recognize that, just like right there. Yeah, I, I, you just said exactly what I was gonna say. Jen has to respect those barrage of up airs. You don't wanna get hit by it just because you're a oh. little bit impatient. That could have been big. He actually ate the double jump there. Good air dodge to get back on. Nice call out with the quick draw. Can he go for the side B? Can he get another one? No explosive flame coming out. Catches the roll. What Jen's been doing really fantastic here is he's not going for punishes on the moves. He's punishing the next option, right? Oh, he Did missed that just, the ledge. Like, push him off? It's because he he hit the air dodge from Jen, and that causes Ike to go into free fall afterwards Aww. if he swings at it. So he was uh he's done skis after that. 118, looking for a roll. Jen's not gonna give it to him. No sorry, Bob. Here we go. Runs up there, gets a grab, pushes him off, eats the double jump. Okay. Yeah, if he didn't fast fall out onto the ledge, that down tilt would have been disastrous. Absolutely. And there, Jen finally rolling under and Mega getting that um, back here. But from ledge, we already know the circle, the circleys, the merry-go-round of Palutena. <laughs> got the circles. No circle camp happening here today, though. We got 84. Oh, was hoping for a double jump. And because he bet it all on that, put himself in a terrible position to get caught by the up air. But I think that was worth the gamble. He had a stock to play with. And look at this. Already picking up right up. Good weights on that quick draw going underneath the explosive flame to try to get back to center stage. This could potentially be scary for Jen. He's got to play careful and just kind of let the opening come through and not force it. Mm -hmm. Right. Just can't force it against Ike. If Ike is going to throw like six nares, you really just got to be very yeah. careful because we just saw... Um, Mega doing a single nair to a backer, and Jen's almost at 40%. Oh, too high a percent to connect that back air afterwards. Going to apply some more shield pressure. Spacing the aerials just right so he can't get punished afterwards. Recognizes that he's jumping a lot. Going to catch him with the nair. Good quick draw to get back to the right side of the stage. 146%. He is Ooh. done for a good catch on that nair. Good yeah. catch. Both of them did their little hoppies hoppies right there. Yeah. But it was... Um, Pat Lutena's, I believe, Nair into up tilt, or yes. like the very small hit of Nair. Yeah, it was, it, was like, it was like the baby hitter. I was watching here, right here with this replay technology from Xeno. The very first hit of up air puts him into that up tilt to get solidified that kill. Good catch. 
from Jin. I mean, that, that's kind of the name of the game for both of these characters, right? They're both just fishing for an arrow constantly because it's going to lead into some magical stuff. That was in Jen's favor right there. And we're going to go back to game number two. Straight back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Both of them played so well at PS2. And honestly, I really got to give credits to Mega. Just holding his ground against Jen. Holding his Dude. ground against Palutena. Uh, right now, he's holding no ground. Yeah, that's true, that's true. He's in the air. He's in the air right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jen is denying him stage presence at all. He's been in this corner since the first 20 seconds of this game, which is the first the whole game. Here we go. 890, back throw, 103, already triple digits. Is Mega going to get back on stage? Ooh. Dude, Jen's edge guarding game is out of control. Jen's just like, no, go into the stage. Go to this, go to the auditorium. That's it. Yeah, dude. Go to the bodega. Pick me something up at the bodega, bro. Get up there. Up smash. Just throws it out. Knows exactly that Mega's just going to charge in. So that would have caught a jump, a dash in, what have you. But like, Jen put himself at risk when he went for that. Could have easily been punished afterwards, but he knew. Mm -hmm. And we still see here Jen just pushing Mega out. Mega finally getting some, some like grounding. I want to say grounding, but he's still in the air. Yeah, and you know, it just be like that sometimes, right? Like you're trying to get back down to the ground and Ike just starts juggling you. It's Ike's specialty. You can show the credit card swipe. Here we go, two stocks apiece. Pretty even Mega. This is totally doable for Mega if he just gets two more clean hits. One more clean hit. Oh, no, there we go. There's the grab off stage. And a lot of the offstage pressure that's going to come from Jen is just guessing where is he going to side B? Where is Ike going to quick draw? Is he going to go high like that? Is he going to hold on to it to go for the ledge? There's a lot of mix-up potential here, and it's all on Jen to try to guess right to get a big punish on it, because he can get a kill off that. Absolutely. And we saw in the first game, Mega's doing a really great job at just using those quick draws and getting so much damage off of Jen from those quick draws. <laughs> And if Jen gets enough setup time, he could probably use up smash to cover like three of those options. But he needs enough time, he needs to position himself. He also needs to time the up smash as well, so it doesn't come out instantly. Okay, Nair forward air. Potential game changer moment for Mega right here. Oh, that forward air barely missed what? it. It gave her a haircut, and that's gonna be the stock. Never mind, 149. We're back in it. Maximum rage gets caught by the up air. It's gonna be second stock going away in Jen's favor. Mm -hmm. Can we just talk about how Mega landed on the platform perfectly, not getting hit by the, the Jen back air that Jen was really looking for, but getting hit by the up air and getting that stock. And there you go. Palutena oh, doing no. Palutena things. There it is. Oh, no. 69 damage off of one aerial. Look out. And he said, oh, this is bad. Good. I like oh. it. That was an awkward angle for yeah, that downer, yeah. but I dig it. I actually dig that option. Okay, running up. I'm not sure right what Jen. It. Maybe he was hoping for like a spot dodge or like a scared option. Trying to incite some fear into his opponent. Remember, this is our first to two here at Xeno. We're trying to get home. That's never changed and it never will. Dash mm -hmm. attack. And Mega just can't find his grounding. Just hopping around, getting hit by anything that Palutena has to offer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that up tilt would have killed. Again, that's another moment where we'll see Jen going for like a big option because he has a stock to play with. If it lands, he wins the game. But just going to play it safe, play it simple, keep his cool, get the back here, and going to get that JV2. Jen taking a 2 0 victory over May. And his Mega is going to move on through the winner side of the bracket. And uh, the next opponent he's going to be fighting against, I saw Bankai is a potential player a, a gen versus bankai classic because bankai is back in town mm -hmm. actually he's only back for this weekend and leaving again what a loser exactly you know like get him back he bro. was like oh my last Zeno you know, is last week we should all hang out and then you know what he comes back huh what are you doing here i mean he he just he misses new york that's he, it. he does i mean he doesn't I, so like did it. I 